Hello today, and we're going to have a game of Lemmings for the Amstrad CPC. I never knew this was released on the Amstrad CPC, to be honest with you. So, I'm going to give it a go. Um, so, first of all, I've, I have um, done some tests on this because I was trying to do a recording first of all with the AMX mouse emulation and that was absolutely dreadful to play with um, the, the mouse, when I was you, it hardly moved properly and when I use the mouse, the mouse come out the emulation window and it stops so using the AMX mouse is pretty useless unless you're running in full screen which I'm not because it sort of pickled weirdly um, anyway I'm not going to waffle on about this we're going to get straight into the game so I'll push 1 to start um, OP to um, move the cursor around believe me using the keys is a lot easier than using the mouse emulation um, so, there we go Ah, so we oh hang on a minute. So you Z and X to click Oh do you know what I'm used to the Amiga. Um that's what I originally had it on was the Amiga. Um Ah, you push one and two and you ass it. Excellent. Um So you get music in this which is pretty good. But you only get music in the 1 to 8K version. Don't get no sounds at all in the 64K version. Um, obviously, there's quite a lot in this game, like levels wise, so I could probably understand why there is no music in um, the 64K version. Um, it does move a little bit slowly. Um, I suppose you've got to expect it. It's an 8-bit version, so you can't compete. You can't really compare it to the Amiga version um, because it's 16-bit. So it'd be unfair to compete to put the two side by side. But I'm looking at it as an 8-bit perspective, not 16-bit. Okay, we all like the mouse um, on the Amiga version, which is nice and simple. To be honest with you, it's just nice to use the mouse. It is a lot easier. I wish the AMX worked on this, but it doesn't work properly. It is pretty useless, the AMX mouse on this. It's too jumpy jerky, don't always respond. I know you've got to get bloody used to these keys. Um, I suppose once you get used to it, it'll be okay. So, have I locked on? Yeah, it locked on. Excellent. So what we're going to do is put them all on floaters. Um, <laughs> not turds, um, floaters. So let's let's get the cursor. Oh, fucking hell, it is a bit jumpy. This this bloody cursor. You know, you're used to, if you're used to the Amiga version, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, believe me, it is a lot better than the mouse. Um, it's just a shame this AMX ain't working that great. Because um, that way it would have been would have been much better to play this game using the mouse. I don't know if you can play with the joystick, but to be honest with you, I don't really want to. Um, it'll be it's all right with the keys. Um, honestly, I don't know all the keys because I don't know how to pause it. I don't know how to move them. Move Did I just fucking think I can't remember? Yeah, I must have done so. Yeah, there's no more floaters left, so we're going to get them all into safety in plenty of time. Um, I'm, only, I'm, not, I'm only going to play a few levels on this because um, we all know we all got the gist of the game. So basically, you've got to get the lemmings from the top to the bottom, or wherever the level is when you play it. So basically, you've got to get them from that trapdoor to their home. Basically, simple as that, but believe me, levels do get harder and harder. This is on the simple level, to be honest with you. I think this is all about blockers. Yes, I remember this one quite well on the Amiga. As I say, I had them 
enjoy the Lemming games on the Amiga back in the day. Really, really enjoyed the Lemmings games. Actually completed um, this one. Well, not the soundtrack version, the first Lemmings. And oh no, more Lemmings on the Amiga. Actually took me quite a while to complete. It was a good fun game where you got you using your head, how to think, how you play the strategy. It is a really, really good game. I'm glad I had them. Um, I suppose I would have liked the Sam Strait version if I had it back in the day. It did come out about what I saw was about 1992 it came out. I didn't never knew that I was making games for the Amstrad back then. Back in 92 or 91, something like that. I thought, I don't know. I honestly thought they stopped making games. Um, obviously the last time I really used an Amstrad computer was, I think it was the 1990 or 90, early 91 when I bought the Commodore 64 in about 91 at the time because uh, my Amstrad's were developing problems and I fucked it up. Did I? Can they drop that far or have I really totally screwed this game up? Because um, now I think I've got a feeling they're going to drop to their death now. What I should have done um, because I'm not concentrating, I'm talking away, is he going to die? Is he going to splat? No, okay, I've got away with it. Alright, so I'll put a blocker there. And what we'll do is we'll speed up the rate so the lemmings can come out faster. Here they come. And what a bad piece of music in this. Um, actually, uh, to be honest with you, it's not a bad game for the abstract. It, it, it's pretty decent, to be honest with you. Um, let's say back in 91, 92, I didn't have my Amstrad. Well, I did have my hand Amstrad, but as I say, it developed problems. Um, got my Commodore 64 by then, so I was really not using the Amstrad no more. Um, because of problems with it. I think the problem was that the monitor blew up and I was running it through the aerial from my TV and the picture quality was absolutely shit. Um, so I just got fed up with it. I've had three of these in my time, three actual computers in my time. Um, but, you know, I thought it was time for a change, that's why I got the Commodore 64, because my mate had a Commodore 64. I didn't enjoy playing the games on the Commodore 64 as much as I did on the Amstrad CPC. Um, and after, I think it was the following year, after I got the Commodore 64, I bought the Commodore Amiga. And this is where um, I enjoyed playing this game. It was really good. Um, yeah, as I say, this Amstrad version, not a bad version to be honest with you, for the 8 bit. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end the review here, because I've done three levels, just to get basically what, just wanted to see what it's all about, so I've had my nuke I don't know why I did fucking nuke So no, that's ZX, that just goes on, what do I push? I don't know what to push to nuke them actually. Um, enter? No, it's not enter. I don't know what to do. Um, oh, right. So if you push... But don't tell me how to bloody nuke them. So one and two does the, um, the plus and minus thing to speed up the lemmings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and zero. You can actually select the, what you want. But God knows how you blow them up. Um, I have no idea. Um, tab. No, I think tab. Because even with the mouse, you can't um, select the icons down the bottom. The, uh, the, uh, the mouse only lets you control the screen. Um, it's. You know, they should have made it so you can click everywhere on the screen. Um, 
But the AMX mouse emulation is just a dreadful in this game. It is poor, really horrible, sluggish, and all in it, yes. Okay, we've done the level. Uh, I'll say I'll give it, it is a good game, I have to admit. Um, you would appreciate it even better if you haven't played it on the Amiga <laughs> or any other 16-bit system. Um, just treat it as you ain't played it before and I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, I'm going to end the review here. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.